Hi, Dr. Jack here. Today's video or review is on the following. The Sideshow 1-6 scale Friday the 13th Part 6 Jason Voorhees. So here's the figure in its box. And, well here's the box. And as you can see, as most of the Sideshow figures come, is uh, has a picture of the figure on the front. Saying Friday the 13th Part 6, Jason Voorhees on the side. New Line Cinema, Sideshow Collectibles. You have the side of the box with the figure. Then you have a little read up there. A picture of the figure. The pictures from the film. And a picture of the figure's face. And also the Freddy Cougar figure from Freddy vs. Jason. So then you open up the front flap to reveal the figure inside. So there's the figure on the inside, as you can see here's Jason's face and everything. Uh, I have the weapons on the figure instead of in the packaging. And here you have the magnificent poster with the cast and crew. Yeah, basically the cast and... and then you have the display base. And yeah. So I'll remove him from his packaging and we'll take a better look at him. And here's the figure out of his packaging. Uh, once again, this figure is, uh, looks really amazing out of package. One thing with the Part 6 Sideshow Jason is that the build of the figure looks a lot better than some of the other ones. Like the body will come out too skinny or something, but this one actually kind of fits with the whole Part 6 with the broad shoulders and it looks pretty decent. So we'll take a look at uh, his uh, clothing. So you can see he has the uh, paintball shot in the middle, and then from some of the shots by uh, Sheriff Garris and the from the pistol and maybe shotgun. And as you can see, you have Jason's utility belt, which I actually made the machete sheath because uh, this figure didn't have that. He had the 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 sheath for the uh, combat knife on the on this side which is supposed to be on this side so they kind of mixed it up where they didn't give you the machete sheath and they gave you with the knife one on the opposite side from where it's supposed to be with the throwing darts and then we have his base it says Friday the 13th part 6 Jason lives and also there's his boots. You can see that. And the mask looks really decent. For what it is. You can't really. There we go. Looks really good. Then we have the back of him. Kind of hard to do this with the camera since he's such a tall figure. So I could kind of back it away. We have his head. It's really good. You have the some bones showing there. Let's see his ear. And then for his face, you just remove the mask. Which, the mask is elastic, which I don't like this, because it kind of comes off his face easily, but overall it, it sits fine as long as you don't mess around with it too much. And here's his face. His face is really decent, but uh, ever since the whole NECA figure that came out, it outbeats this. But it's still a really good looking face. For a Jason Part 6 figure, because you... But I really see his face in the movie, just the very beginning, and yeah. So they did a really, really good job on it. You can see the gash mark in his head, and the one from the machete, but the, the slit from where it is is not large enough. It's just like the small little line, so something Sideshow uh, messed up on. Alright, so here we have Jason in some light. 
Um, but he does look better in, in part the part of the darkness. I mean, you know, but I just wanted to so you can see something more up close with the light. So here he is in all of his glory. So go over his articulation, which is really reasonable for a one six scale figure. His articulation in his head isn't so great, but it's pretty decent. So he looks up uh, not not that great, but it's okay. He looks down a very thing yeah, doesn't look that right on camera, but eh. Head articulation isn't too much of a biggie with the ups and down of how he can look, but you know, you can have him like and position like that, but that's about it. Uh, the arm articulation, it's very reasonable. It bends really well. Um, wrist articulation, in and out, swivel. Uh, he has a a crunch in the ch in the chest, so he can also rotate. It's partly hindered because of the clothes, and his feet kick out really well, and then bend pretty crazy. So, okay, now I can't even get him back into what he was in before. Just... So, the articulation is very, very decent for uh, a figure like this. Um, either way, Really decent figure. You can put him in so many different poses. So what I'll do is is take some photoshops and wrap up this review.